lots of big tech companies announced laying off and hiring freeze during the upcoming recession. For example, Meta announced they're going to lay off the bottom 10% of the employees. And Snapchat just announced it's going to lay off 20% of the employees. And all these make people very stressed out and scary because sounds like the chance of you landing your dream PM job offering in those big tech companies is less than 1%. It's kind of true, but it's not true. I guarantee you that if you apply the golden framework and the strategies I teach you today, it's going to increase your success rate landing your dream PM job offer significantly. Because even if Meta announced they're going to lay off 10% of employees, our students still being able to receive multiple Meta offers last month. So I want all of you guys to achieve the same success as well. So therefore, this is the first time I'm opening up my secret regarding the new framework I invented that has been used by hundreds of people to land their dream PM job offer. Please make sure to follow the right strategy so you're able to achieve your goal without stress and much higher success rate. In this video, I'm going to cover how to answer product execution, product metrics, interview questions, and Meta and Google. Make sure you take lots of notes. Let's get started. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product. I have helped hundreds of people landing their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader so that they are able to increase their income and do the work they love. If you want to achieve the same kind of success, make sure to go to this website, pmaccelerator.io to learn more. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell button so be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. Make sure to check out our Instagram where you're able to see lots of behind the scenes inspiring stories and how other people with the same background as you to have those kind of breakthrough. Today let me introduce you the golden framework which is called my computer science PhD framework that's been used by hundreds of product managers and landing the dream PM job offer. Especially this framework is specifically designed for product execution and product metrics, interview questions and meta and google those kind of big tech companies. Frequently you'll be asked this kind of interview questions. What's the success metrics for a Facebook event? Set a goal for Facebook Marketplace. To answer this question, you need to use My Computer Science PhD Framework. Now let me explain what is My Computer Science PhD Framework invented by Dr. Nancy Lee. So MY stands for Mission and Why. CS stands for, not Computer Science, stands for Customer Segmentation. PhD stands for Prioritized Mission Related Metrics. H stands for product health metrics. D stands for de-risk. Now let me walk you through this framework by applying the framework to the real life interview questions. What's the success metrics for Facebook event? Now let me bring my teaching assistant. Dun -dun. During the Meta Product Manager interview, you would definitely be asked this kind of interview questions. What's the success metrics of or set a goal for something? Now, let's use Facebook event as an example. When you heard this question, step number one is MY, my computer science PhD, MY part of the framework, which is the mission and why. You can quickly use one sentence to describe the mission and why of Facebook, which is helping people to build communities by creating tools. And then you need to elaborate how Facebook event is going to achieve the mission of Meta or Facebook. And you can say the following, Specifically, Facebook events were created to help people unite together, hang out, and find new friends. Especially during this post-COVID environment, people feel very lonely. We are able to help people to join together as a communities. And when you elaborate the mission of the Facebook, make sure you will tie back to the original mission. And on top of that, talk a lot about the latest environment, which is post-COVID. Lots of interviewers like to hear you about why the specific product is so relevant to be addressed right now, not some 10 years ago. So therefore, I want people to mention the post-COVID environment that people feel lonely. After you talk about mission and why, you can ask lots of clarifying questions to really explore more to understand what else the interviewer wants you to address in this interview question. For example, you can ask, did I cover all the main reasons we're designing this product today? Or you can ask more questions regarding, is this Facebook event product mainly for the US or for a global audience? Right? So there are many different ways for you to explore, to understand everything you didn't cover in your original assumption 
of the mission and why. I created a cheat sheet where I have the top 10 clarifying questions you need to ask during product sense and product metrics interview questions. Please make sure to go to the description of this video and download this free cheat sheet so that you know how to explore and ask the right questions. See the link in the description. The framework I'm sharing with you has been a secret inside the PM Accelerator for over two years that's only available inside our program. But this is the first time I'm opening up this to the world because I want all of you guys to use our secret to survive in the upcoming winter. So please make sure you take lots of notes and do this a training, watch this again and again until you're able to implement the strategy correctly. Let's do this together. The next part of my computer science PhD framework is CS, customer segmentation. And when you segment customers, 99% of the candidates use a small scope framework and not being able to come up with huge and big thinking. The best way for you to segment customers is based on two-sided marketplace framework. I know lots of you guys will say, well, for segment event, there are people who are parents, there are school events, there are individual people attending events. Those are wrong answer because your answer was too small. You're immediately getting rejected just because you're little limited thinking. Two-sided marketplace framework enables you to see the same kind of product that has two sides. For example, for Facebook event, there are event organizer and event attendees. Within event attendees, there are different types of event attendees. But before you go into different types, you need to understand there are two major sides of the marketplace. Without either side, the entire Facebook platform wouldn't exist. So therefore, let's write down event attendees and event organizer as a major customer segmentation for this case. Now let's talk about the next part of the framework, which is prioritize mission related metrics. You know what? When you solve the product metrics interview questions, you're going to make it as if you are a PhD, which is invented by Dr. Nancy Lee. Because I'm outlining our space, I'm going to remove the top of the whiteboard and put P on the top. The PhD part of the framework, P, prioritize mission related metrics. You need to pick per site marketplace which are the most important mission related metrics for that side of marketplace. For example, you need to pick the number one thing most important for event attendees and what are another metrics for event organizer. I know lots of you guys will make the following mistakes. You will say, oh, daily active users, wrong. If you only talk about daily active users, what does this mean specifically to Facebook event? Is it really representing how successful the event product is? I don't think daily app users matters because daily app user for Facebook or daily app user for the event, how you define daily app user, you need to be specific. I personally do not like to use daily app user for the Facebook event product. I like to use a different matrix, which is number of events per attendee per month. See? So I believe that's a better way to represent what is the mission related metric, which is building a communities. Now let's define what do we mean by number of event per active attendees per month. The active attendee means that in the past months, you at least log into Facebook, attend an event or show maybe or respond to a certain kind of event. At least you did it once per month, any engagement. Now, number event per active attendees per month, which means every month, how many events do average person attend every month? I personally believe that this is better than just daily active users was because if daily active users means like, let's say 5 million daily active users, what does this mean to Facebook event? Is this a lot 5 million or is less? I'd rather break it down by per month and also break it down by how many events you attend. Let's say average Nancy attends event once per month. Pretty good, right? Because there's so many people only attend once per two months, three months. So average, everybody in the world out there, they attend one Facebook event per month. That sounds pretty good. Or maybe five Facebook events. That's 
extremely good. So I believe this is the most important mission related metrics for Facebook event. Now let's think about the mission related metrics for event organizer. For event organizer, I'd like to choose the mission related metrics as the number of event organizers on Facebook event product. This include people who uh, actually host at least one event per year or per month so that we know how many people are actively organizing event and out there. Now, we need to prioritize these two mission rating metrics to come up with a North Star metric. North Star metric is the number one metric the entire team within Facebook need to follow. Okay, so as a product manager who is responsible for the success of the product, I believe that the number one most important thing is number of events per active attendees per month. That's truly the most important thing the entire team need to measure compared with number of organizers because if there's lots of organizers, not enough people attending events, what's the purpose of having a product without people attending your events? So definitely this is a North Star metric. The next part of the framework is product health framework. Product health represent, besides the North Star metrics, any other measurement we measure regarding the product is actually very healthy, very successful. And there are many different ways to measure product health, for example, engagement, could also be people who have so many like likes and shares of the event that represent engagement, how popular this product is. And could also be something represent the unique purpose having the event, which is having more friends. For example, second product health metrics, number of new friends per attendee was able to make through those events. And something very specific regarding the product event. You have an event, People say they're coming, but they don't really show up, right? So we should revenge show up rate is quite important as well. And number four parametrics could also be the number of new events people attend. They don't always attend the same event. What if they explore new events every single month? They explore new opportunities that represent the fast growing of the platform. So Facebook really like it. And could also showing the number of posts on the event wall, showing how popular those events are. Those are important metrics to measure as well. And finally, we can think about the diversity of events. Think about the mission of Facebook and what if people only do like celebrity event and only do one type of event. Well, the diversity of the event being able to host on Facebook can also represent how fast growing the Facebook platform is. So all those are important product health metrics all the product managers need to measure as a successful PM in Meta. During the interview, something pay close attention is that the interviewer is going to challenge you regarding some other metrics you didn't consider or some metrics you had they didn't like. For example, in this specific case, the interviewer might ask you, what do you, buy, what do you think about the size? Do you think the size of the event matters or not? Now it's totally up to you to defend yourself. I personally think that the size of the event actually does not matter. Who says the bigger the event are, the more successful the product is. So which means that everybody goes to celebrity events, so which means it will be very successful for its product. I don't think that in alignment with the mission of Facebook, which is creating communities, maybe smaller event like our product management training event might be only have 20, 50, 100 people attending, I still think that's a strong purpose of building a community. So therefore, you can argue with the interviewer what you think the size of the event matters or not. What are the product health metrics and North Star metrics you want to include? Please comment in the description of this video. I'd love to hear from you guys. Now, the last part of PhD framework is D. D stands for de-risk, which means any other risk would involve when you build Facebook event product. And there's a major risk, which is illegal activities. People might use Facebook event to organize illegal activities. And then as a product manager, we need to think about any kind of way to de-risk it. Could be have a monitoring team to watch different kinds of activities and event and immediately deactivate those illegal events. Now, let me also teach you how to create A plus answers. The fact is that, to be frank with you guys, you really need to provide A plus answers, say something that nobody out there is able to say, which is also one of the reasons our students are able to land so many fan offers every single month, just because we push a little bit above 
what other people don't do. So therefore, when you apply the CC part of framework that helps you to create A plus answers. Now, the CC part of framework stands for counter metrics and cannibalization. Counter metric stands for if your North Star metric is too great to be true, is there anything counterbalance your North Star metrics? For example, if the North Star metric is like in attend number of events per attendee every month is extremely high, but the counter metrics could be the number of new friends they make per month is very low, which means you attend lots of events but you don't make new friends. Then what's the purpose of creating a communities out there? So therefore, the counter metrics is very critical for you to show off your strategy thinking at the interview. Now, let's talk about cannibalization. Cannibalization stands for what if one product so successful was in Facebook is impacting other part of product. Think about this. Facebook has so many competing products. There's Facebook news, Facebook event, Facebook group, Facebook main feed. If too many people go to Facebook event and fewer people are going to go to Facebook groups, right? So you just think about the cannibalization of this Facebook event product, which could be, I think, fewer engagement was in the Facebook group. So you need to talk about this in your interview to get exceptional answers that lead you an offer in Meta. If you have an upcoming interview with Meta, Google, those kind of big tech companies, please make sure to download the top 10 clarifying questions that you need to ask at those product case interview questions. Those are going to set up your success for your upcoming interview so you're able to answer questions within 45 minutes. Make sure to share this video with any aspiring product managers because this framework has been used and test out by hundreds of product managers land their dream PM job offer. I want to pass this free training around so that more people are able to achieve their dream career success so that we are able to make bigger impact together. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna see you next time in our upcoming free training. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye.